Let me explain the, the four things that specific things that are, uh, I'll use the term that we're using in the title, our treatment coordinators do at, mm -hmm. in the first half hour of the appointment. The, the patient doesn't see the doctor uh, in the, the first half hour. It's right. all coordinated by the treatment coordinator. Now, what this person does in our practice is step one, they take the patient on a quick tour. Quick tour. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get hung up, up on this. This is not a Disney behind the scenes, open up every cupboard, <laughs> show up every nook and cranny. It's quite literally a three minute uh, walk through the practice and, and highlight some of the reasons that they're going to love being a patient here. Think about it that way. It's it's three minutes. Now, it's four minutes if the patient's a talker. Right. <laughs> if they're a talker, it's four minutes. If they're not a talker, it's three minutes. And what we do is highlight some things they are going to love as a patient of the practice. So welcome we do, we do. them in. Yeah. They're, they're going to introduce absolutely. them. Yeah. Introduce. Yeah. It's almost like somebody comes to your house. You say, Hey, it's so glad you're here. Let me show you around. You know, show so you. Here is the washroom. Here is. And we, and we say, we want you to be comfortable uh, yeah. while you're here. Um, right. And, and we, you know, for, for example, um, we'll stop um, the last stop on this, this little tour had, we stop at uh, it, one of the photos that we have. It's an after photo. Our all of the back office uh, in, in, in at Life Smiles incorporates beautiful after photos, not befores and afters, but just afters of patients that we've helped have the smile of their dreams. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the treatment coordinator will stop at that photo and say, you know, Naren, uh, while we love doing general dentistry uh, here at Life Smiles, our doctors and team also have advanced skills. So we can help people with things like uh, adult orthodontics, cosmetic dentistry, dental implants. Um, and you'll notice photos up here in the office. All of these photos are actual patients of ours that we've helped have the smile of their dreams. So that's the last stop on the tour. Then next, we go into the console room and, and we do a new patient interview. And the new patient interview is seven very specific questions that help us understand the, the patient's uh, dental history, mm. patient's dental history and patient's dental experience. Every patient will have a dental history and dental experience unless they're two years old <laughs> and it's a happy visit. You know, we do see children. Right. It, it's a happy ride on the chair. <laughs> you know, that two-year-old doesn't have any dental history. So we create the beginning of their dental history by making it an awesome first experience that they have a blast with. All right. And hopefully what it does is it sets up a, a, a lifetime a positive experience of the Dallas. But for everyone else, we want to know their dental history because, you know, you're right about the fact that the TC, the treatment coordinator, needs to have full knowledge of the dentistry that's available in the office. But the other thing they need to do is understand the patient. Right. And understand the patient. And so they are really good at, at getting to know the patient. And you know what they're really good at? And, and this is a skill that all of us could improve at. They're really good Listening at listening. At listening. Um, so they're listening for, for they're listening very intentionally. Uh, they're getting to know the patient and they're listening. Um, and man, I have to tell you, um, in, in so many, I, I, I you made the comment that Life Smiles has uh over a thousand uh five love letter reviews. reviews, not just any reviews, like paragraph reviews. I think why many of them are the love letter type multi, you know, multi sentence reviews right. is because maybe for the, it's not common for people to feel listened to. Right. In, in the world, I'm not talking about dental offices, but in the world, it's not common for people. In fact, the more the merry-go-round of life spins faster, I think the less listening is actually occurring. Right. <laughs> but what if we slow down actually to know our patients, we listen uh, to them. And I think that's one of the reasons why the 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 narrative reviews are so common is because the people the patients feel heard the way i think about it is think about ritz carlton and any other hotel right what's the difference the rooms are kind of the same probably ritz carlton even looks older and dated but the people i mean i guess they have the equivalent of a treatment coordinator almost like a champion for the <laughs> the guest they they do magic they make yeah, them want, feel like they're million bucks be... We want your visit to be, you know, an amazing experience. Yeah, exactly. Um, so the second part of that is we, we do a, 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 an interview, seven questions to learn the patient's dental history and learn more about the patient. Uh, next, uh, we take uh, whatever necessary records uh, that are needed. It could be bite wing x-rays. It could be full, full mouth series. 
It could be a digital panoramic X-ray. In our case, we have a CBCT. Um, it could be a 3D comb beam image, whatever is needed. Uh, and then we finish with taking a six very specific digital photos. Uh, and we, we take, it's, it's done very quickly. These fix, six photos can be taken in less than three minutes. Uh, and then we'll upload those uh, to a tablet at the end of the doctor part of the exam. And doctor will revisit, will, will, will review those photos with the patient. Now, the next, so that's all done in 30 minutes. And again, those four steps are we do tour, interview, uh, records, and, and photos, the six photos. The six photos that we use, by the way, are, are Dr. Frank Spears' six photos for patient education. Uh, six photos. Uh, it, first one is a natural smile, just smile for me naturally. Second is a close-up retracted view where the patient holds the retractors and we're zooming in very close. The third and fourth, we borrowed from our friends, the orthodontist, an upper occlusal view and a lower occlusal view. You're actually take, you're not taking a picture of the teeth. You're taking a picture of the reflection of the teeth in the hourglass-shaped mouth mirror. And then the fifth and sixth photos are a right buccal quarter where the patient holds a retractor and you point the camera 45 degrees down the right buccal quarter. And then the sixth one is a left buccal quarter view. Takes three minutes to take those photos. Next, we escort the patient into the new patient uh, treatment room. Um, and the timing on this is very important. Uh, the patient's in the chair. Uh, if you're looking uh, you know, uh, into the treatment room, the uh, treatment coordinator is to the left of the chair and doctor will come into the right. We have a dual entry uh, format with the treatment rooms. Doctor will come into the right. And now the treatment coordinator will introduce the patient to the doctor. And in the process of introducing the patient to the doctor, we'll share something with the doctor that has nothing to do with their teeth. Well, nothing to do with dentistry. It has to do with something that they brought up. Something personal. Um, something personal. And it, and it might be, uh, Dr. Paul, George works at Fender Guitar uh, with our patient Maria, and they happen to work in the same department. They work in the quality control department at Fender Guitar. Mm -hmm. And then doctor will take off on that conversation. Or it might be that um, Dave loves mountain biking. You're going to have to talk about mountain biking. And they, they talk about mountain biking. It, it might be Dr. Tim. Um, Linda uh, has a, a six-year-old little boy like you. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Uh, what does your son like to do? And notice what's happening here, Darren. I think the patient goes from this uh, anxious, you know, uh, anxious mindset. Oh, I'm not in a, you know, I'm in a new place uh, to relax because anytime they're thinking about that six-year-old son, they're in a happy place. Yeah. You this know? is, this is uh, neuroscience in action. 